Good morning. Our opening song is number 466, All Is Well With My Soul. I'm not sure you know this song, um, but we're going to sing it anyway. You can learn it. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot you have taught me to say, it is well, it is well, with my soul it is well with my soul it is well it is well with my soul my soul is at rest in the lord god alone from God come salvation and hope. What God as my rock, I shall not be disturbed. All is well, all is well with my soul. All is well. With my soul, all is well, all is well with my soul. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we gather on this day, let us call to mind our sins as we ask the Lord for his mercy. Lord, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children. Sanctified by penance and in your kindness, grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Ab Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, there is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white-hot furnace and from your hands, O King, may he save us. But even if he will not know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? 
Assuredly, O king, they answered. But, he replied, I see four men unfettered and unhurt walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory, Glory and, and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory, Glory and, and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, Glory and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, Glory and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, Glory and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, if you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. They answered him, we are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are truly, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, we were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, if God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Our first reading about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is a, a lived situation that really describes our gospel. 
For Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego believed in the Lord God and believed that the Lord God was with them at all times, in every situation. So in their belief, they said to King Nebuchadnezzar, we can really be bound and thrown into the fire, and the Lord will take care of us, whether we find ourselves destroyed or whether we live. And as the story goes, they did live, and King Nebuchadnezzar proclaimed the truth that they followed the true Lord God. I realize that for some, it is a great struggle to believe in Jesus. We are always looking for signs, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego being freed from the fires without one little singe. But nonetheless, we pin our faith on experiences in our life. Sometimes we misread the signs. One of the things that I like, as I like to ask people to do is to say thank you for each situation in their life. Maybe I've said it to you, but I truly believe that's a profound declaration of faith in the Lord our God, that he is with us in all and every situation of our life. He will work it out. And sometimes we will be like Jacob, who, when struggling with the angel all night long, was left limping for the rest of his life. It is not that we will always come out, shall we say, according to human terms, on top. We may be wounded, but we also may receive great wisdom of how the Lord God is working in our life. So instead of trying to put the Lord God to the test, our test, may we truly ask the Lord to be a part of our lives in each and every situation and in that experience to believe that he is there and to say thank you for the gifts of growth, of wisdom and understanding, and most especially of faith that we can walk our journey to the kingdom of heaven. We place our needs before the Lord as we pray. We pray for Pope Francis and for Bishop Rickon that they truly may proclaim the truth to us, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those who find themselves in great conflict with the Lord, that they may grow in trust and in faith, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the defeat of the Equality Act, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those with COVID-19 that we truly may find a way to defeat not only the virus but its effects. We pray to the Lord. We pause to add our own intentions in silence. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all who have died. We pray for Hubert Jokey. We pray for all of those who have recently been killed by the sh in the shooting e experiences. We pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious Lord, we place our lives into your hands. Guide us along our pathways as we seek your kingdom. We ask our prayer through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings, which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We will pray the first Eucharistic prayer for reconciliation. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your Spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we were once lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who, it, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed to the cross for our sake. But before his arms were outstretched, between earth and heaven, to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, he handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. 
for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that, by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one by the Holy they may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven. With the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. We share with one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should under a roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may pur purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection. Through Christ our Lord. May we pray for our seminarian, uh, Nathan Woody, and for um, vocations to priesthood, religious life, diaconate, and holy marriage from Prince of Peace Parish as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray the prayer to St. Joseph. Good St. Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus, who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our bishop and our priests. May they follow your humble example in their fatherly care for the people of God, the church. With Mary, you raise Jesus the high priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. We pray the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I want to remind you of our uh, breakfast this morning. If you so desire to participate and share in it, it uh, follows immediately our Mass. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Number 466. My God is my safety, my glory, my strength, my refuge when life takes its toll. I trust in my God as I pour out my heart. All is well, all is well with my soul. All is well with my soul. All is well, all is well with my soul.